right, hello everyone. We want to continue with laws of indices, exponents, or powers as we know, right? Um, la, the first, the first law we have already covered. Now we want to take a look at the second law. The second law um, we have it is going to be e to the m and in this case we have divided by a to the n that is going to be a m minus n right a to the m divided by a to the n equals to a m minus n right remember what we said that the letter here is talking about the BS okay. and then in order for us to use this one bases need to be the same okay. and what we mean by needs to be the same it means to be the same letter x x x y or y y y or the number 2 2 2 or 3 3 3 or 4 4 and then 5 5 or whatsoever they need to be the same and there needs to be a division in between them right so if the numbers are the same and you have powers connected to it then it equals to the base and then you just subtract the powers and then in this case notice is very specific it is the numerator first the power of the numerator first minus the power of the denominator second right let's take a look at one in this case we're going to go with an easy one right we're going to say x to the third over x is it division yes so the big line here that means division numerator is this one here the denominator is this one down here can we apply laws of indices again yes because the bs is x and the bs is x so what does the laws of indices says that if you're dividing and you have the same base then your answer is the base which is x right don't write 2x's or 2x or whatsoever and then once you write x then what you have to solve is the power it is going to be the power or the indices for the numerator which is 3 minus the power of the denominator which in this case you might say we don't have but from previous um la we know that if it does not have a power we know that there is an imaginary one so we have a one there right so that's going to be power of the numerator three minus power of the denominator one and that's going to be x 3 minus 1, 2. Clear? All right. Let's move on with the other one. Example 2. Let's see that you have um, something like 8 x minus x negative 5, right? Because we have, we could have negative power. So negative 5, y divided by 2 x to the third y to the negative 4 right now be careful with this ones here because if it has a negative power then it means that we have a negative because of the law which says minus and then we will have another negative which comes from the problem right so let's take a look at what we have so in this case, let's add in the ones, those that have one. Eight will have a one. Y will have a one. 
x is to the negative 5, 2 will have a 1, x is to the 3, and y is to the negative 4. Let's take a look at the number. The number is 8 divided by 2. Are the bases the same? The base is 8 here, and the base here is 2. So can we apply the law? No. So we just quickly say 8 divided by 2. We could solve that, and the answer is just 4. Right? The x now. That's going to be x to the negative 5 divided by x to the third and then we have that are the bases the same we have x and x clear so we can solve this one here now let's take a look at what we have x keep the base which is x and then subtract the powers now notice that the numerator comes first. The numerator would have been negative 5. So it would have been negative 5 minus that comes from the formula itself up here. It's the numerator minus the denominator. Clear? So the numerator is negative 5 minus from the formula or from the law and then the denominator number is 3 so it's going to be negative 5 minus 3 and that gives me negative 5 and negative 3 that's going to be negative 8 why is it negative 8 because negative and negative you add the numbers and you keep the sign all right signs alike add and keep the sign y now let's take a look at y for the y we have y to the first divided by y to the negative four got it are the bases the same yes because y and y all right so clear with that then we say y one numerator minus from the formula keep in mind that you have to put your minus from the formula now from the formula minus and then your power for the denominator is negative four so notice that you end up with minus minus four clear one minus minus four negative and a negative will always give me a positive so i'm just going to put it like that right then you have your answer y equals one plus four gives me five clear then write my answer my answer is 4 x to the 8 negative 8 sorry y to the fifth now I don't like to see this negative whenever you ha end up with something like this with a negative power right and so what do we do is we put a fraction it's going to be 4 the 4 is positive. I want it like that. The, the line. Let me put the line. The x is negative 8. It's already in the numerator, right? Because this is over 1. Because it is negative and I want it positive, what I will do is I will just take this, switch it down here. If I switch it that down there, then that automatically changes the power to positive so i will say x to the 8 that me the y to the fifth do i need to switch it down no 
because it is positive so I just leave it up here done and that's my answer clear if you have questions ask right um, let's take a look at another one maybe if we do another one then we can um, find out you guys, you guys can find out if you understand or not the other one we're going to be looking at and let's go with example then it's going to be 24 x to the third y to the negative 4 divided by 8 x y to the negative 1 right so we have that let's start off with the numbers we have 24 divided by 8 are the bases the same are the bases the same no this is 24 and this is 8 the power is 1 and the power is 1 but we don't at this point we don't look at the powers because the base in order for us to look at the powers the bases must be the same so we just apply division and then we say 24 divided by 8 that's going to be 3 and that's my answer for the numbers right then I move on to the letters we have X to the third divided by X to the first or X just X and then I said to the first because we know if it does not have a number or a new uh, power we put a one Right? So, according to this law now, if it's division and the bases are the same, we keep the base, which is x, and we subtract the powers. So that's going to be 3, right? So that's going to be 3 minus and the denominator the power for the denominator is one and that's going to be three minus one gives me x to the second clear other one y negative four divided by y negative one right so that's the y. y to the negative 4 divided by y to the negative 1. Can we apply laws of indices here? Yes. What do we do? We keep the y because the bases are the same. Where do we need to work? Is with the powers. Be careful. Numerator first. The numerator is negative 4. What does the law say? we need to subtract so we put minus from the formula keep in mind that I'm always saying minus from the formula after you do put the minus from the formula now take a look at the power for the denominator the power for the denominator is negative 1 so you notice a negative 1 a negative sorry from the formula and a negative from the base of the denominator like that negative 4 minus minus 1 right this becomes positive got it once you have two two signs that are the same together then it's always going to be positive and then we almost finish because that's going to be y negative 4 plus 1 negative 4 plus 1 we have it is negative 3 negative 4 plus 1 signs are different we subtract the numbers and we keep the sign of the larger number which in this case is 4 so that's negative 3 got it hence if we rewrite notice that if we rewrite our answer we're going to see 3x to the second y to the negative 3 do we want that as an answer no 
our answer must always be a positive or the powers must always be positive so this has to change we know that this is over one hence we can say or we can say our answer is 3 because it's positive x to the second because it's positive and then y to the negative 3 to change this to a positive we just take it to the bottom y to the third no negative added there though if you add the negative then that's going to be wrong right